how can you revive the power of asking that resides inside you? If you don't know what I mean by the power of asking, then it's better for you to watch the previous videos here on my channel that talk about it so you can get the idea and then better understand the subject of today's video. In the previous video, I talked about how we hear no, the word no, so many times since our childhood that we start expecting a no. For example, you want to ask your boss for a raise, but you think, well, you know, he will say that business is slow, that the economy is bad, and, and that I have to wait, and that there are other people in line ahead of me waiting for a raise as well, that I should be happy that at least I have a job while so many people out there are unemployed. Hey, you know what? Maybe he might even get upset and cut my salary. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to ask anything. So, I mean, you already expect a no, and so you don't even dare to ask. But what you don't realize is that your boss never told you no, because you didn't give him a chance in the first place, because you never asked. It was you who gave yourself a no. Your fear of being told no prevented you from asking. And what happens when you don't ask? When you don't ask, the answer is always going to be no. So, there are certain barriers that block our power of asking. And one of them is the fear of receiving no for an answer, or just assuming that you will be told no. How can you overcome that fear, that barrier? Well, first you must understand that no is often just the first stage of a yes. Think about it, how many times have you received a yes, and, but that yes began its life as a no? And what if you had given up after that first or second or tenth no that you received? But it was because you insisted that that no turned into a yes. You know, I like to think of the word no as, a, as the steps on a staircase. Here, let me show you. I have a staircase here on the board, and I see no like this. You receive the first no, so what happens is you climb, you go up a step. Then you get a second no, you go up another step. And so you keep going. Every step, each no that you receive, you go up a step. And that gets you closer and closer to what you want. Until when you reach the top of the staircase, what is there waiting for you? A yes. <laughs> but how many people give up before they reach the top of the staircase? So. The first thing you need to do is to lose the fear of receiving a no. And one way of doing it is to start looking at no just as an opportunity for you to revisit your request, review it, refine it, and then ask better next time. And it's very important you don't take no as a reflection on your person as you're being rejected, for example. It's not because the boss told you no that he thinks you're a bad person. You know, most of the time, a no has nothing to do with you personally. So don't be sad or depressed or feeling rejected for it. And remember that there is always a big chance that that no can become a yes. And also, think about it. It costs nothing to ask. You can ask a million times and get a million no's and still not lose anything. But you just need one yes to change everything in your life. So 
What have you got to lose, right? So this is the first barrier you need to overcome to revive your power of asking, losing the fear of getting a no. So now that you've learned this, go ahead and start practicing it. In the next video, I will share with you more ideas how you can boost your power of asking. And until then, God bless you.